everybody, thanks for dropping by. Today I am excited to show off some Mars Attacks trading cards that I did artwork for. And the reason I'm excited about it is that the company that publishes them, Sidekick Labs, uh, actually sent me some complimentary copies. And I'm not used to that. I usually do toys and merchandise, action figures, type artwork, and uh, I almost never get comp copies. But Sidekick Labs was nice enough to send me uh, a stack or so of these cards that I did. So this is very cool. This is the new Mars Attacks Uprising set that just came out. And like I said, published from Sidekick Labs, licensed by Tops. And this is the this in first card here. And I'm going to fumble around and zoom in. Here we go. Let's zoom in on that one. There we go. So this is a card that I guess was a Kickstarter incentive of some sort where a person paid a, uh, you know, a certain tier and then they got their likeness on the card. So uh, this guy right here in the red shirt uh, was somebody who contributed to a Kickstarter and got his likeness on the card. And so they asked me to do that because of my experience with 10 years of doing MCU work, I often had to get actor likenesses to the point where I actually had to get approval from the actors themselves. And so I got pretty good at doing people's character likenesses. So uh, we've got the card here. And then of course, on the back side of the card, this is the back side of the same card, there is a description of uh, what's going on as far as the story. And, you know, I could go into my uh, my movie voice and the brick facade of an apartment building crumbled and three figures, all in free fall, fought to decide who would live when the dust settled. And then it goes on from there. Uh, but that's kind of a fun one. Then uh, we have this second card that I did. That one there. Now, these apparently are three characters from the previous set. And we've got like a Native American, and then uh, so there's a dog boy, mutant guy, and then this kind of medieval knight, and they're fighting this giant spider dude and a robot. And uh, again, you know, on the back side, this one's called Freeing Human Captives, uh, you know, and of course the description I can, before the invasion. Martians had visited Earth and abducted humans from all over the globe for research. Held in stasis and brought back as control subjects, they eventually escaped their cryo chambers and now roam the planet as time-displaced heroes. And then it goes on from there to explain who our heroes are. And I was not really too aware of the whole Mars Attacks franchise before being asked to do this, so this was kind of a fun little treat for me. And then here is the, I'm going to take these two guys off. Here's the third card I did. And of course, you've got the downed uh, flying saucer with the Martian getting out and fighting these two cyborg soldiers. This card is called Augment's Attack, and the description reads, As the ground defenses face more resistance, the Martians increase their attacks, but another army would respond. The cyborg augments with powerful weapons that would easily hone in on and bring down the alien craft. Down by well-targeted blaster fire, a Martian pilot emerges from his smashed saucer, forced into one-on-one -on -one combat with these half-robot heroes whose cybernetic implants had turned them from ordinary humans into walking war machines. And that goes on to describe more. Okay, so those are the three cards that I did for this set. And then they sent me this, a stack of these creator autograph cards. And uh, that's what it looks like on the front side. And I'm guessing I just, I, I signed my name here in this spot. And then on the back, it says Signature Series. You can see what that says there. Yeah, Signature Series. This card holds the authentic autograph of Scott Johnson Illustrator. Uh, here's the thing. I'm not typically in the trading card market. I haven't done a trading card. I did a Legends of the Five Rings card about 15 years ago. And before that, I did some Riffs cards. But uh, I don't know what to do with these. Like, what do artists do with these signature cards? Two of nine. I guess uh, there were nine artists that worked on this set. So I am number artist number two. Uh, so if you are in the trading card market, if you're into uh, collecting collectibles, whether it's magic cards or other type of collectible cards, like, what's the deal with these signature cards? Do artists 
like give them away? Do they sell them? I don't know what I'm supposed to do, but I have a whole stack of these that I can sign my name to, I suppose. And then I also have, like, I got, I got a stack of these that they gave me, and I'm very appreciative that, uh, you know, Sidekick Labs sent these to me. I also got this really cool uh, metallic one, and I, they only sent me one, so I guess this is a one-of-a-kind thing, and it's made of metal. And it's kind of, uh, here's the back side. So yeah, that's a neat one. I like the colors on that one too. That's very cool. And I guess I just sign it with a Sharpie right here. So this is, I only got one of these. So uh, I'm not sure. But again, I don't know what to do with them. So let me know in the comments if you guys are familiar with trading cards and you're into it. Let me know what you think of the cards themselves. Are you a Mars Attacks fan? And should I do more of these if asked? Because uh, it was kind of fun. I enjoyed doing this. It was a new franchise for me. Not really familiar with Mars Attacks prior to this. Uh, but I think I will definitely do more if given the chance. All right, guys, that's about it for today. Just wanted to show off the new stuff. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you.